be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another little video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you five ways to load drum samples in Logic Pro 10. So let's get it. Now the first way is gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna start with the uh, quick sampler. So basically if you start with a MIDI track, software instrument, go to instrument down here, and go midway down, you see quick sampler. All right, so this is the quick sampler. Um, it's really cool and it's actually quick because it is a quick sampler. So literally just drag and drop your sounds right here. So I have this Rap Lords kit here. Um, you can get this on beatmakingbasics.com. This is our, one of our kits here. We've got a lot of different sounds or whatever. I'm just gonna drag and drop one of the sounds and literally you can get going. Now they have this option, original, and they also have optimized. I always throw it in the original. And you can get the original sound just as it is. So in classic mode, pretty much, um, you feel me, you can just go ahead and play it all the way up to the keyboard and down the keyboard. And just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna push Command K, usable typing. I have a MIDI keyboard I'm using here. But anyway, y'all, you can come over here, you know what I'm saying, put phase and stuff on it. You can come over here, and uh, add a filter. And then when you're finished like editing your sound, when to save it, just go to default preset, save as, and you just save it as whatever, you know, hard, rap, lord, kick, two, whatever. And then like, if you're ready to pull it back up, you go ahead, go to your quick sampler, create, and then go to load, or you're gonna find it down here. All your samples that you save will be down here as well. So I go to the H's. I think I can just type H, yep, and it'll pull right up. Um, so that's how you're gonna do with the quick sample. That's that's one. Hey, real quick, by the way, did you happen to know that we have something called the Beat Making Master Bundle? Let me show you what's going on with that. Basically, we have all these courses that you can get from beatmakingbasics.com, courses, sound kits, and templates. The Beat Making Master Bundle is going to come with everything on our site. So check this out. If you really want to learn how to take your beats to the next level, go ahead and grab this Beat Making Master Bundle. This comes with everything that we offer, bro. And you're going to get all the updates. So when we drop new courses, sound kits, loop packs, all that type of stuff, templates, you're going to get all of those new drops. Grab it, man. You can go ahead and use Shop Pay and make payments on it, or you can just go ahead and pay for it right now. It's no problem, man. This is everything you'll get in here. Lots of courses. Come on, lots of drum kits. Look at all this stuff, man. Everything on the site. Go ahead and grab that now. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. Um, the next one I'm gonna talk about is the multi sampler, okay? And it's like right down, kind of a little bit below that. Um, it's uh, you're gonna go with, gonna go with mono or stereo, depending on how you want your drums and stuff like that, you know, you can go either one, but you'll click on that, push create, and then this is what the uh, multi-sampler is gonna look like. Multi-sampler is pretty dope. Um, pretty much just gonna go over here to zone, and then you will see uh, I'm in mapping between these two. You'll be able to see and edit the stuff, uh, the samples and zone, and here's your mapping option right here. So. When it comes to like the drag and drop and samples, I'll just come over here, set this kick, drag it over here wherever I want on the keyboard, and then I can edit it here, do a one shot. And what basically what a one shot will do is like as soon as I hit it, it's gonna play the sound all the way through. We can put it off of one shot, which I have to hold it down. Um, I can reverse it. Pretty much do whatever, add all these different, you know, play around with these knobs and everything. Um, I would just keep on going down the list though. Um, so I got a kick right here. Bring this back up. Let's put like a clap or something. Let's see. So I'm gonna put this clap in there. We'll put it over here on this. Do one shot. You feel me? Um, and you can just pretty much just edit this out if how you want. Now let's just say you keep on putting the samples in and everything like that. You can also come over here and you know do the volume, 
turn it up, the velocity, different things like that as well. But whenever you're ready to save your kit, after you drag it, drop in everything and mapped it out, you just come over here, same difference, push save as, and you just name your kit. You just say, Rap Lords uh, Kit. I'll say two. So same difference here when you want to pull it up, you know what I'm saying? MIDI, software instrument, go to instrument sampler, we go to sampler, multi-sample. We'll push to create, and then you go to the default. Again, all your stuff will be down here, but you can load it and then search for it there. But boom, and if I click on mapping, you can see that I have my samples there. Zones, again, where you're gonna be able to come in here and affect the different, you know, the sample different ways. So that's number two. So we covered the quick sampler, the multi sampler. I'll go ahead and do another sampler, which is going to actually be the sample alchemy. Now, typically people probably won't use this for drums, but you can though. So let's just see. This is uh, the new sampler with the Logic Pro 10.8 update. Same difference here, drag and drop sounds right on the end. So like for instance, let me just kind of pull up something cool like a hat roll. So if I want to put that in here, we got the sample in here. Obviously, you can come over here and edit it and stuff like that. You can go to trim, edit this bad boy out some, you know, um, go back to play. They have different like modes here, granular, additive, spectral. You can mess with the knobs, change it up, put it on this one. So you can kind of get some cool sounding effects with by just you know putting it in here. I'm not gonna go into all these different options here for the drum part, just because we're loading drum sounds, but you can use this to load drum sounds. Same thing right here. You can actually just come over here and save as. So I'll just say um, rap lords hat roll. And now whenever I want to pull it up, just like we said here, MIDI software instrument, instrument sample alchemy and you just go and again everything will start pulling up over here so i have this rap horse uh hat roll or i can load it here again y'all y'all can get these sounds off my website beatmakingbasics.com um but boom you got the sample right here so that's number three two more ways okay y'all um go ahead and open this up same difference we're going to midi software instrument and this time what we're going to do is scroll down to ultra beat Okay, Ultra Beat. This is a drum machine right here. We'll click on that. And y'all, this is going to be Ultra Beat. This is another way you can load drum sounds. It always has uh, drum sounds when you first open it. You would think that you would be able to just come over here to this and then like just drag and drop it in here, but there's a kind of secret way to load drum sounds. So, what you're going to want to do is actually come over here to the default right here and go to drum kits and you want to go to you find drag and drop samples then for some reason they they made it set uh, set it up like that where you had to do it like this and then you can just go to these different channels you know and then just start dragging and dropping your sounds now you have to drag it and drop it right here so like for instance you're on sample one we'll come over here to the rappers kit go with another kick so i'll take this and i'm gonna put him over here so now my kick is right here and I can play that bad boy and I can also come over here and adjust things and everything like that play around with the filters and all that fun stuff when I'm ready to go to another sound click on the other track and so like I say if I want to do like a snail a snare let me see what this snare sounds like okay let's throw that bad boy in there um, and now you got the snare you can adjust the volumes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you pretty much take the time to go up the list here, and then again, when you're ready to, you know, save this, you can go save as, and then you can just say, uh, "Rap Lords Kit 101, whatever." So now, um, same difference here. We're starting from new. Boom, Ultra Beat, create. And then I can come over here and find it down here or go to the load. So it's right there, boom, pops right up. And it has those two sounds. If I want to add to this, I can just keep on adding and then do a save as and then, you know, save it as again. 
All right, so that's number four. The last one we're gonna do um, is actually gonna be the drum machine designer. So this is what the drum drum uh, machine designer looks like. Um, so it comes originally with nothing like added in here, okay? But you could just easily drag and drop your sounds in. Now what you're gonna wanna do here um, is first of all, if you go on your piano, and you're going up a scale. So say you're starting off at C1. If you go all, all the way up the scale, it's going to go this way, and then come back this way, and then come back this way, and come back this way. So boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? It's all the way up. So that, can, that should kind of help you. You can come over here, clear all pads and stuff like that if you need to. But for the most part, um, when you're starting off here, you just drag and drop the sounds in, okay? Um, pull that open, put that snare in there. Now we got the snare on there. And again, we can come in here and and then start building it out. You feel me? Um, so we can come over here um, again this one's gonna be the next half step up so we can come over here and put another snare maybe okay keep them going up let's uh, maybe put a rim shot You know what I'm saying? And you just pretty much keep on filling these all in here. Now, the cool thing or the crazy thing when it comes to this is to save, you're not going to be able to know how to save it. Like, there's not going to be any drop down over here. You actually have to come over here in the library and then save here. So, um, I'm probably going to do a separate video just like really going super thorough in on this one. But it's, the, the process is pretty much the same though. Like I said, you just, this one is a little bit more advanced or whatever, but I still wanted to show it to you. I'm gonna break it down thoroughly um, in its own video, but man, this is gonna be today's video. Appreciate y'all watching, man. If you have any questions or whatever, or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Also, make sure you head over to the site, bemakingbasics.com. We have courses, we have kits, um, templates, and all types of stuff that you can you know, use to speed up the process of you know making better beats and things like that. So I do appreciate y'all um, and I will see you in the next video, bro.